when someone has that life event, there are many little opportunities to add empathy and to let them know that whatever they're going through, that they're not alone and that there are people who can help them. Hey everyone, Bo Royal here, co-founder and CEO of Pareto Legal, where we help injury lawyers increase their profits with business strategy, digital advertising, and analytics. You're listening to the Pareto Legal Podcast, where we feature world-class attorneys, entrepreneurs, and legal experts. And today I'm joined by Joe Rotolo, head of marketing at Intaker, a SaaS company that specializes in marketing automation technology for law firms. In this episode, we'll discuss how firms are incorporating AI and automation into their marketing and intake processes, why every law firm needs live chat technology, what challenges firms are facing when it comes to AI adoption, and more. Joe, welcome to the show. Thank you, Bo. Happy to be here. So let's dive right into it, Joe. Um, my first question to you is, can you provide a brief overview of how Intaker is currently being utilized in law firms? There are two big areas where we focus, and that's website chat. Most people know us from legal chat on websites, uh, using video, using automation, delivering empathy. That's kind of what we're better known for. But the other side of the product is the CRM and like the true marketing automation that comes after you capture leads. You know, how are you turning those into uh, clients and you know, essentially raving fans of, of your law firm and delivering that five-star client experience using as much technology, as much automation while still providing that, you know, personalized uh, <clears throat> sense of the client experience when people reach out. Can you talk specifically about how Intaker, the, the automations that are innate in the tool enhance the client experience? Like what, what are some of the features that are enhancing the, the communication between the firm and the client? Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. And so, you know, to do that, I think we can take a look at what is the journey of someone when they are maybe had some kind of life event, whether that's an injury, whether that's something happened to them or their family, um, you know, the journey they go through from realizing that they need support to doing research, finding someone who can help, and then ultimately, you know, making that connection, whether that's a call, whether that's a chat, reaching out to your law firm or whoever they are, um, to get the help they need. And so, you know, what, what I mean by that is so many little details in the process of when someone has that life event, <clears throat> there are many little opportunities to add empathy and to let them know that whatever they're going through, that they're not alone and that there are people who can help them. And, you know, if you're a, if you're a personal injury attorney or, or in, in the space and you're listening to this, you probably know the importance of empathy in, in that experience. Um, but you asked, you know, specifically, what does that look like, Bo? And I'll start at the top, which is when someone is, you know, doing research, whether that's on Google or, uh, you know, whatever, search they're using and, and they, they come across a couple websites. They rarely just reach out to one attorney, but uh, having an experience on that website that really speaks to their needs. And that can happen in one of two ways. You know, one way is being able to use video to have the managing partner or someone from the firm be able to deliver that message and let them know that if you're dealing with either an accident, an injury or a loved one, you know, a suffering, um, they're not alone there that you're here to help them. And when you have like a video as part of that chat experience, um, it creates a totally different feel for the user than if they're just coming in and, um, filling out like a contact form or, or, or something like that. Uh, I would say that, you know, all the different things that Intaker kind of does and, and we can talk about the video is still the thing that people highly value uh, just because having a face, having that energy, delivering that empathy, 
on like a one-to-one, -one, even though this is asynchronous, you know, video, you know, you, the attorney shoot the video once and you can deliver that same message to everyone. But, um, when someone is looking and researching and finding out, is this the person who can help me, you know, small touches like that go a long way. The other side is, you know, if someone does get hooked, right, you can imagine the videos acts as the hook to get them engaged. Um, but the other side of that is making sure that your team is basically has all the information they need to understand who this person is and what kind of issue they're dealing with and if you can help them, how you can help them rather. Uh, so capturing a lot of that information up front, which normally might happen on an intake call, but getting just the basic qualifiers out of the way so your team understands, can we help this person or is this a referral or is this someone who you know, is not in a position where we can help them with what they need. Um, getting that information out quickly just allows your team to make faster decisions about how to prioritize their time and energy and making sure that when good opportunities come in through the website, through chat, that they don't sit idly. Because one thing that we know is uh, response time is one of the most important things when it comes to turning you know, leads into actual cases. Um, and there's a bunch of other tools we can talk about uh, how to shrink that response time down when the right people come through your firm uh, and you can kind of come through your chat rather, and you could see, um, you know, different ways that you can help them. So we can talk more about some of the other stuff. Yeah, I, I just uh, want to touch on what what you ended on with there, which is the the speed in which uh, intaker can can send this information to the team, and then also the the quality of information that is sent to the team. I, I want to make a little disclaimer here. I've I've been an intake customer, or rather our clients have been intake customers now for nearly five years, and I remember the first client we tested this with was originally on, uh, I believe it was engage or alert, um, live chat. And it was a human powered live chat where there was a human agent at the other end. And not that that, you know, technology or, or product was bad per se, but I think it, it kind of strung out some, some conversations where it didn't need to be strung out. The other, the other challenge was the information was being sent to this firm's intake team in an unstructured fashion, right? Because the the person that was contacting the firm going through the live chat was kind of the one dictating the conversation, right? And it didn't follow this format. So um, I can certainly attest to how a AI powered live chat like Intaker can not only be a, a, a quick response solution, but it can also uh, give the your intake team, the the information they need to determine whether or not this is a viable case or not. And then I would go one step further to also say with the uh, built-in video technology that your tool offers, it, it can actually deploy even more em empathy than a human agent at the other end of the live chat, right? So that's my that'll be my little pitch for Intaker on this uh, on this podcast today. Like I said, we've been using it for for almost five years now. Um, so moving on, I want to talk about, uh, we, we already talked about like video and how, uh, you're incorporating that into, uh, your, your AI powered live chat. Can you talk about other, um, ways that the, the, the live chat technology can be customized based on the specific needs of law firms and their clients? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, you know, one thing that I noticed starting out my journey with Intaker, you know, about four years ago is that a lot of the other chat products that are available for law firms uh, may do a good job getting like the basic, basic info, like contact information, name, phone, and email, and then maybe where the person is located, right? City and state perhaps. But a lot of the other details that you might need to determine is this a viable case or not? <clears throat> and again, that could be different, whether you're talking personal injury, whether you're talking more specifically like a dog bite or a slip and fall versus, you know, an auto wreck or even like a trucking case, right? There's all sorts of different points that you might need to better understand um, 
you know, for example, like some law firms will only be interested, I know, in, in taking uh, a case if, you know, the injury was within the past, you know, two to four weeks, right? And others would take it all the way up to, you know, the past 18 months. And so uh, understanding, you know, more than just, you know, were you injured, uh, understanding a little bit more details such as, you know, when it took place, exactly where the accident happened, which might be different if you're, you know, in uh, one state like, you know, California, and uh, maybe the accident happened in a, another area like like Nevada, for example. So little details like that. Um, and again, if you're talking maybe something for a slip and fall or a matter like that, you might want to know, is it on private property, commercial property, government property, that sort of thing, just to understand this is even worth your time. Because when you're getting leads and you have to find out after the fact that it was not a viable case, after 20 or 30 minutes on the phone, your intake team, or maybe it's you, the attorney, that are doing these calls. And especially if it's you doing these calls, you probably know how much of a time sink it can be when you are you know, stopping what you're doing to call someone who comes in as a chat lead. And then it turns out it was kind of a dud. So, um, on that side, one of the things that is a little bit different, uh, on intaker is the ability just to say what areas, uh, what matter types are most important to you. And so again, if you're a personal injury firm, you know, it could be, uh, you mainly get a lot of auto accidents, but you may also get something for like a brain injury case, right? Um, and so being able to have different options that can ask more targeted questions to whatever that matter type might be. Um, and then have that be essentially like built out for you where you don't have to uh, get into the weeds and design your own chat box. I mean, one of the nice things is that uh, if you were to like come and, and take a look and uh, see how to use Intaker, so much of that is already done. And so you can just come in and basically say, what are those top level items that you want to um, have as, as uh, available options for your for your website visitors? So when they come to your chat, they might see car accident, brain injury, uh, dog bite, you know, truck accident, whatever it is um, that would be just there so that you don't have to, uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time building out like a custom solution, but yet you get the benefit of having, uh, more targeted questions for whatever those matter types are. And the other thing is if you're, you know, running different marketing campaigns right now, where maybe it's summertime and you're running a special motorcycle accident, uh, campaign that is, you have it its own, uh, you know, landing page or, or your own, uh, resources dedicated to that, then on a tool like Intaker, it's pretty simple to just spin up something of a custom version of your chat for those specific areas. Uh, so that on those landing pages, you can have an experience again, that is a lot more personalized to whatever that person might be going through when they land on that motorcycle accident page, as an example. Uh, and I'm talking about both with chat options, like how we qualify those leads, as well as how you can use video to deliver more of a personalized message to those folks uh, in that matter. And correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Intaker specifically almost has some like decision tree technology, right? Where like based on certain responses, it could prompt other questions, more clarifying questions, things like that, correct? Yeah, yeah. There are a few examples of that, but... The basic idea is that if um, there is certain information that would be helpful, such as, you know, if, if we're talking about you were injured uh, versus maybe if it was uh, a loved one or maybe if, you know, there's no injuries, we might ask different follow-up questions um, to find out more details. You know, if you were the one injured, we might need want to know a little bit more specifically that information that you may be able to provide versus if, if we know maybe someone else or, you know, there, there was not like an injured party, you know, the types of follow-ups that we would ask, you know, would be different. And that's just one example. Um, you know, another area that I know can be frustrating is when people get like clients reaching out through the chat, for example, if they're, 
uh, especially if you're on a, a product where you're paying per lead and that kind of thing happens. If you've got clients coming out, asking questions through the chat, it can just create a little bit of bloat on the system. Um, whether that's, you know, a little bit more expensive or you have to make time to go and uh, request refunds for those leads. Uh, so even like simple screening up front to find out, Hey, you know, is this a new matter? Are you a client with us already? And in the case where if they are a client already, then being able to give them a different experience where they can just connect to the right people on your team, whether that's a case manager uh, or whoever the right person is, you know, to get the help they need without coming through like an, like a new intake. Uh, so even though, you know, this is a fully automated system, like you mentioned, Bo, I, I said in the beginning that empathy is kind of the like the core value behind the product. And you know, there's lots of little things, whether you're talking new clients, existing clients, or whatever the, you know, the person's needs might be. Lots of little touch points that you can use to deliver that empathy in a way that it doesn't feel robotic. That's my point, is even though this is automated, I know there can be a lot of um, resistance, and maybe less so in, now in 2024, you know, but to the idea of like using a bot to do things like your initial lead qualification and kind of that, that basic intake. Uh, but, you know, what we've found is the technology has just come such a long way and since five or six years ago when this type of uh, project might have, you know, maybe people first thought about having a chat bot instead of a live chat. Uh, at that time, but you know, where the technology has gone is just in such a different place. And the other part is like client expectations are just radically different now with the advent of tools like chat GPT. And, you know, honestly, you might find live chats that is someone like a human operator who might sound like a little bit more robotic than someone uh, using uh, like a fully automated chat that's designed in a certain way to add that layer of empathy. So, I mean, it, it's been pretty interesting to see, see this market um, change and like the, the automated options that are available, not just on chat for lead conversion, but like, you know, in all areas of whether you're talking about growing your law firm or, you know, delivering more streamlined services. And I'm sure even in your business, Bo, you've kind of seen how automation uh, has changed you know, your day to day in a lot of ways. Oh yeah. It's, I mean, it's forced our team to focus more on high impact type work, right? Like the, the day to day minutia is no longer something that, you know, a human person is now responsible for. So that puts more onus on our team to do, you know, work that can't be easily replicated by AI or a computer. Right. So, um, it's a net positive for everyone at the end of the day though. Um, so I want to go back to um, something. The in in terms of um, the firms that you aren't working with currently, let's let's say, um, what are some of the common issues that you see as it pertains to their live chat or their marketing automation? Good question. Uh, I would. There's a couple things, but I'll I'll start here, which is. If you're someone who's really investing in getting cases from your website and using digital marketing to, you know, grow your law firm, look, I know it, it can be tough sometimes, uh, depending on who you work with. Maybe if you're working with Pareto, it's not as tough. Um, but you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of times that I see and I talk to people. Um, and I, I see, you know, when they have someone who like could be a viable case come through their website, come through their chat. And for whatever reason, maybe they're using a live operator and something happened such that the live operator made a mistake or it could be another issue. Like it just took too long to get the conversation across the finish line. Um, and for one reason or another, uh, they did not either, you know, complete the process, giving kind of their full information 
or worse yet, I've, you know, heard of like horror stories where, you know, someone had what could have been like easily, you know, a uh, six figure case on the website where the, the live chat person said, you know, oh, uh, I'm sorry, we can't help you with that. You know what I mean? And so for a law firm to come in and to see an opportunity like that, just be taken away because of, I don't know, poor process, poor training, poor whatever. Um, I just know it can be really frustrating. And so, you know, one of the things that I like to point out is um, automation tools like what we're talking about, automated chat, it, it doesn't make mistakes in the same way that a live person might. And when that comes to, you're talking about high value opportunities and you know, even one of those opportunities getting away could just change the calculus of, you know, the, uh, what you can afford to spend on your marketing, right? If you're, if you miss cases because of, you know, flubs like that, I know it can be frustrating. Um, and so I think that is one of the main areas where if you're using a live chat right now with like a live agent, you know, maybe this has happened to you. I mean, I've, I've heard, I've, heard stories several times from people who run good firms and they're, you know, not all of them are spending, you know, 30, 40, $50,000 per month on their monthly marketing budget. Some of them are not spending that much at all. And so when those cases come in, it could be, you know, something that really changes where they can take their firm in terms of putting more resources into growth, into marketing. Uh, so it's just, becomes something if you can avoid it that kind of issue i'd say it, it is even if you're spending a little more money on a different product just so that you're not going to miss out basically make sure that those good leads those good opportunities don't slip through the cracks and that you've got a system to make sure that you are maximizing every opportunity that comes in um it's a long answer but i hope that Got the point across. It's a good answer. And I, I think it basically, the, the the long story short of it is like, if you don't have that foundation in place, why are you spending all this money on all these different ad campaigns, right? Like this is a common conversation that we have with prospective new clients where, you know, we're asking about, you know, obviously marketing budget, but it's like, what type of intake system do you have in place? Like we notice you don't even have live chat on the website. And yet they're spending, you know, 30, 40, $50,000 a month on a TV campaign. Like there's a lot of low hanging fruit foundational pieces that I think a lot of law firms miss sometimes. Um, and something as simple as getting a, a live chat tool applied to your site or building out a separate landing page for the practice areas that you, you know, want to generate more cases from like little things like that can have huge impacts on conversion rate, you know, cost per acquisition, things like that. So um, I agree with everything that you said. I do want to ask about, um, you know, for firms that are contemplating moving on to a tool like Intaker or any AI powered technology, what advice would you give them to ensure a smooth and successful integration? Yeah, good, good question. And uh, I wanted to say one thing you just mentioned that'll kind of lead into this next question. Um, which is, you know, for, for those firms who don't have like a bulletproof intake system set up already, I'd say, you know, even before you start like seeing, you know, what technology you can add to your, uh, you know, to your firm, um, just making sure that there is a clear plan of how to handle the intake. And whether that's you, I know a lot of personal injury attorneys are still doing a lot of that themselves, uh, but whether that's you, know, you and you have an assistant, receptionist who, who may be helping you know, with some of those uh, initial inquiries, or, or maybe you're picking up the phone yourself. Um, when you are going to be spending money on getting potential clients you know, to your website and you don't want to lose them, the technology that you're going to use is one of the most important pieces, you know, but even more important than that is, are you, are you leveraging this technology to its full potential? Because it doesn't matter if you buy a tool, you plug it in and then you're not using it, or maybe you're only using, you know, 30% of what it can do. Um, 
And kind of what I'm getting to here is, you know, what, one of the problems that we realized early on within Taker is, uh, you know, lead qualification, lead conversion on websites, that, that is the most important thing to not miss out on those opportunities coming in. But it opened up a new problem, which is, you know, what are law firms doing with these leads that are being generated, right? And are they working these properly so that they're not losing out on these? Okay, now they're getting the leads, but are they signing the cases, right? And so that led to kind of the next iteration of, I mentioned in the beginning, there's the chat and then there's more the lead management uh, CRM side of, of the product. So what happened was after we kind of solved the problem with chat, uh, we realized that there's a huge gap for a lot of firms uh, when it comes to their tools that they're using to follow up with these leads, to manage these leads, to get you know them to sign their retainer quickly before they reach out to another law firm um, who is using tools that are a lot more streamlined in terms of intake. So I say all this because uh, one of the areas that Intaker, I know we've been talking about chat for a while, but one of the areas that Intaker is like just, the product is changing so rapidly and it's really pretty cool to witness, especially with more AI tools and integrations uh, coming online, is more the CRM side of giving uh, the same idea of, okay, what's an automated, what's a way that you can automate, like we talked about the chat, you know, that initial lead capture qualification, getting it to the right place. Well, how can we automate the next steps in that process? The next steps in that process might be like automatically pre-qualifying these leads based on certain criteria that the law firm sets. So that is, you know, maybe you thought about lead scoring. And so how do you know if it's a personal injury matter that if it checks, you know, these boxes in this way, so whether if you're at a firm that you only want, you know, injuries that happened in the past 30 days or, or, Maybe you want injuries in the past 18 months, whatever that qualification is for you. If you had a system that can just automatically know what a good lead is for you and then make decisions based on that. So when leads come in through chat, getting the right information, having a system with AI, be able to understand, interpret that, and then make those next, uh, you know, decide on that next action. That next action could be calling your law firm immediately to say, hey, you've got a highly qualified lead, um, you know, just came through uh, and press one if you want to connect with them on the phone. Things like that using a new tool we uh, released called Live Call Connect is a way for you to just make sure that when qualified leads come in, that you have a way to uh, get them on the phone in seconds before anyone else can. You asked about integrations, Bo, and how these tools, how can you... Uh, what should you know about like integrating them together? I mean, whether you're using a tool like Lead Docket for your lead management, or maybe something a little more basic like Clio Grow, uh, <clears throat> whatever tool that you have, just making sure that everything that you have is plugged in so that you don't have to go in and do any manual data entry so that you can just rest assured that whenever leads come in the door from your website, they appear where you need them to, and those next step automations are going to run so that they're getting a text message right away that, you know, your office is getting a phone call if they match certain criteria. Um, and if you're not using a tool that can manage a lot of this or automate a lot of this for you, you know, what we've built is uh, with the Intaker at CRM is uh, something that will just kind of like chat. You don't have to go and babysit it and, you know, manage it. Uh, as much as it can help do with some of that for you uh, so that your team, kind of like you said in the beginning, can just focus on those high value work that they need to do, have the CRM kind of run almost like in the background on autopilot um, and kind of where we're heading is be able to, you know, even send retainers automatically, not right for every firm, but, you know, for those firms who say, hey, these leads check all the boxes, you know, we want to get them signed up immediately, being able to even send them a retainer um, as soon as, uh, they come through and they're qualified. So there's a lot there when it comes to all the different parts of the intake puzzle, putting them together. Uh, that's kind of where we are headed. Uh, we've made a lot of progress in the past 12 months. I'll tell you, man, uh, the, uh, chat GPT, you know, November 22 kind of changed what we all expect 
in terms of the power that automated tools can, um, you know, what, what they can accomplish. Uh, and, and then seeing how, you know, GPT-4 integrations can just go ahead and really almost take the place of a person, you know, who would make kind of that first level of decisions about, is this a good lead? Is this someone we, you know, want to follow up with or not? I mean, if the chat GPT-4 can like pass the LSAT and like the bar exam, then you can rest assured that it can handle some of that initial screening and intake for your law firm and automate a lot of those next steps. So uh, that is, you know, what we have um, been building and I'm excited to see kind of the rest of the pieces come together. So excellent. Well, Joe, I really appreciate all of your time and answering all these questions today. How can our listeners uh, learn more about Intaker? Best way is to just go to our website, intaker.com, and you can find out some of the information there about kind of the core products that we offer, see which of these might be right for your law firm. Um, and, you know, you can go ahead and submit an Intaker chat. We've got a little chat um, on our website, and that is, you know, probably the best way to get a hold of us. And uh, if you want to learn more and sit down for like a, a one-on-one demo, see if this is right for your firm, you can just reach out through the chat and then you'll have the option to uh, connect with our team from there. Awesome. Well, Joe, thank you very much again for joining the podcast today. To our listeners, thank you very much for tuning in to the Pareto Legal Podcast. We'll see you next week for another episode. You're awesome, Bill. Thank you, everyone. Take care.